everybody hello 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 this is exciting this is the Trinista Pleasure show welcome 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 I am so excited this is our first taping in October for the Trinista Pleasure show a long-awaited show guys um formerly used to be the hope for the day I am transitioning to the Trinista Duplessis show I'm very excited about the show guys I am um, glad that you're tuning in um, before we get started I'm going to tell you the uh, times and days that you can view the show it's still um, on the same schedule as the hope for the day show so actually the show um, is going to air every Sunday at 11.30 a.m. Central Time in New Orleans and 11 p.m. Central Time on, on Sundays. Every Sunday is going to air, we're going to tape once a month, so this show that we're taping right now is going to air every Sunday until we do the next taping, which will air November the 12th. Um, guys, I just want to say this. Those of you who have been supporting me throughout the years, you have uh, definitely been a blessing to my life, and God has showed himself to me many a times and where things are headed in my life. So I want to say this. Um, I know some of you probably, it's a bittersweet goodbye to the show, um, Hope for the Day, that Reverend Heron and I have been hosting for 12 years or so. But, um, you know, the seasons come and seasons go, so a new season have brought upon new things and new exciting things. So I wanted to bring this show where you can see the art side of me and you can see the acting and you can see um, the skits and the monologues and the poetry and all those things that um, a lot of you don't get to see. Um, at my productions. You know, sometimes people have gone through hardships and they don't have the monies to see the show, um, but this is a way that you can see a little bit of what I do. And also, what we're going to do for you, some of these shows we're going to actually have some uh, snippets of the plays that I've done on DVD. So some of the snippets I'll show on the show so you can get a, a sneak peek of some of the productions that you can see um, on this show, even though you haven't set an audience and watched the show live, but I'll give you a chance, an opportunity to see a, a sneak peek of some of the shows. Now, what I would like you guys to do, if you are watching and you have a pen and paper, jot down um, this, uh, if you're on Facebook or social media, um, you can jot down the Trinice Duplessis show. You can like that page on Facebook and you can follow me and where I'm going and what I decided to do with the show and some exciting things that I'm going to be doing with the show. And also, it's not just going to be me doing the show. We're going to invite others on the show. And now that I've decided that I'm going to have a guest co-host every now and then to come on the show and co-host with me. I'm really excited about that. So um, look forward to an exciting venture with this show. We have so many things lined up. And those of you who are watching who may be interested in being on the show, a part of a skit or you have singing gift or, or whatever it is, you can definitely email me at the Trinice Duplessis Show at gmail.com. The Trinice, just one word, all across, the Trinice Duplessis Show at gmail.com. That way you can send me emails and updates or resumes or whatever you're looking for. Because right now, currently, for our next show, which is our November 12th taping, we are looking for people to perform in a skit that I have written um, to perform, whether it's a Mama T, whether it's a Paco or Night War Tamika skit or whatever it is, whatever I decide to, to put together, we want you. Are you the person that we're looking for? Are you the person that we're looking for to be in this show? Um, please email us at trinistaplessis at gmail.com and also like the page, the Trinice Duplessis show. So, I want to say this also, guys. It's been a long road. It's been a long um, journey for me. Um, and I always like to um, say a prayer, you know, and we sometimes we open up the show with a prayer. But this in this moment in time, I just want to say a quick prayer for you. And if you just want to bow your heads with me, do that, please. 
Father God, I want to thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the opportunity to open up this show. Um, to 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 thank you for letting the show fall in my lap the way it did. And I also want to pray for the audiences, um, the people that continue to support this show. Father God, I, I just want to thank you to use me as a continue to use me as a minister too in the way of drama in the way of acting in the way of poetry or whatever it is that you have me to do in a way of comedy so people can also get entertained father uh, use me in a mighty way father continue to bless the show let us have many 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 viewers let um us cross over to other countries when we do the online uh links that's online lord let it reach people lord let it open up doors and that's what we're looking forward to lord and send the people that want to be a part of this journey, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. So, um, guys, um, I just want to say that sometimes, you know, things come to you as a surprise. And then you have to realize that sometimes when you have planted some seeds along the way, you've planted so many seeds, and then all of a sudden the harvest is following you. Um, the, 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 the favor is following you because you have planted so many seeds along the way. And this is what this show is about. I've planted nuggets throughout the years, whatever uh, inspirations I've given you through the show, the past show that I've had. And now this is what's come be become of it. So please support the show. Please tell others about the show. Please like the pages, follow the show. Because again, we don't want to just think local. We want to think global. And that's what my mindset is right now. I, I You know, a lot of people gave me suggestions about Oh, name it NOLA Talk or uh, Let's Talk New Orleans and, you know, all that. They gave me a lot of suggestions. I went to my Facebook friends and asked for suggestions for the show. And, you know, um, I I love my city. But, as, again, we don't want to just uh, keep ourselves in a box. So I, my mind was saying think of something universal and not something local. So and then I thought about the Ofer Wimpers and the uh, Ellen Jenderos or so and um, all those other um, uh, shows that have named themselves behind themselves. Um, the Montel Williams shows, all those different shows, uh, you know, I can't even think of everybody. But why not name it the Trinista Plessis show? It's your show. And all you're doing is just bringing your name out for, for great people to see and for great men to see. And your name will be remembered. So, and Ofer was my main uh, motivation to name my show The Trinisa Pleasant Show because I admire her. I admire what she's done. Um, then, the, of course, the Carol Burnett Show and the Flip Wilson Show, the, the, the Richard Pryor Show, all of those people that I admire it just motivated me to name this show the Trinice Duplessis Show. So we're going to take a break and let you see a skit of one of my characters that I play often. Um, and it's a Mama T skit, and I want you guys to enjoy that uh, skit. Um, I just sometimes I think of stuff on the top of my head. So enjoy this Mama T skit um, for a few minutes, and then we'll come back and talk to you guys. Thank you. Oh my God, look at this house, it's a dirty mess. It's dusty, it's crumbs all over the place. You got grown folks living in here and they don't act like I'm raising a bunch of titles and still changing the poo poo off their behinds. And you can't get crumbs up? I feed you, I feed you cornbread, gumbo, everything, potato salad is all over the place. I can't believe, why can't I get people to cooperate with me up in here? I'm feeding the neighborhood, I'm feeding everybody, I'm feeding, I'm doing all this peppers and all this kind of stuff, and you think they would want grown folks would pick up the crumbs, you understand what I'm saying? Man, well maybe I ought to get the crackheads to move in here and they'll do a better job than these sons of mine, because I tell you, these sons of mine's about to give me more gray I got on my wig, I tell you. Boy, I tell you, grown folks ought to be ashamed of yourself, you're, getting a, you're in a living hotel, I serve you, I ain't, I'm too old for this mess. I need to be in, in an assistant living home, you know, with me and Sweet Willie chilling and drinking some Crown or something like that. Because guess what? All this stress behind these grown folks is getting on my nerves. I need to just pack up and move out this sucker and see how they survive out there. They'll be starving to death, knocking on an assistant living door. Girl, uh, Mama T, uh, Mama T, uh, let us in. We hungry. You see what I'm saying? That's what happens when people get codependent upon you. <laughs> 
Oh, Lord. But on a good note, I heard some good news. Man, I heard about, did y'all hear that this girl, Trinice the President, made another milestone? She got her own show now. And she said she called the Trinice the President show. And guess who she want to come on now? <laughs> guess who she want to come on there, y'all? I don't think y'all get it. Hmm. She want Mama T to come on now and do her thing. She want me to do a little skit, a little something, a little comedy piece or whatever. But that's what I'm going to do. Because guess what? She didn't bless me since 2012 when I first had my first, <coughs> my first stage play and my debut in acting. She called it Light of the Ghetto. And basically what that is is I'm the light of the ghetto. I bring light to the ghetto, which is a bunch of darkness. I built my house in the heart of the ghetto, despite of what the church message members was uh, against it, because they say I'm all uh, healing and saving people, and that's for the pastor to do. Have you ever heard such a stupid, foolish thing? How the pastor going to tell me that I'm healing and helping folks too much and it's taken out of his pocket? He's a crooked, no good Negro. That's all I'm going to say about that. But anyway, she wants me to come on and do some of these skits. And I tell you, this girl is so ingenious, it's unreal. She says she loved Carol Burnett, Flip Wilson, Dave Chappelle, all them bits, 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 bits uh, I'm tongue tied. All them different people she loved, she want to turn her show into that kind of show. And uh, singing and poetry and all. This girl, I tell you, she just won't quit. I'm proud of her like she my own daughters. Yes, indeed, God is good. And let me tell y'all one thing. When you put your heart and soul into something, God going to bless you so much, you ain't going to have no room to receive it. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, I just love when beautiful things happen to people that put their heart and soul and their love and compassion in it. And that's the main thing. You know, I fuss about my sons and everything. I fuss about them eating and leaving crumbs. But at the same time, my gift is in my hands. I love cooking and cleaning and doing all this kind of stuff. But I just want them to understand that when I'm gone, I'm gone. You're going to have to carry the torch in Mama T. And that's what you do. You leave a legacy of goodness. And that's what I'm going to do. Lord, I tell you, it's just some beautiful things. It's just to be blessed. I didn't come a long way myself. I didn't come a long way Losing one of my sons, but you know, I, I wanted to die myself, and I won't sit here and talk to y'all about that. I wanted to die one time, and I damn near cut my wrist, because I really was missing my boy. You know, when you get in that dope game like that, that's what stuff happens like that. You know, when you get in that dope game, he was a good man, but followed the wrong crowd. Oh, wait a minute, y'all. I got somebody calling me. Oh, this is old messy Melba. Uh, hello? Yeah, what you say, Melba? What I'm doing? Well, I'm doing a years ago. I'm in here sweeping in, uh, you know, cooking is the usual, all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what you say about the new neighbors? Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, what they doing? Hmm, they white? Well, hell, everybody white coming in the neighborhood. That's bringing up the property values. Well, listen, I ain't got nothing against nobody. Long as these don't mess with minds. That's all I'm saying. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix a good old pecan pie, and I'm going to bring it up over there and show them what I'm working with. And then I'm going to lead my way on in that door and see if they got anything peculiar or suspicious going on. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to cook them a good old pecan pie, and I'm going to put some of them x laxes in there. Now, listen, no, I'm going to put... Now, if I find out they're doing wrong, if they're doing some crazy bull crap, then what I'm going to do, the next pie I make, I'm going to put some x lax in it so they could be running. <laughs> <laughs> Man, but what you talking about? Yeah, yeah, that's the way you do it. Now, if they're doing some wrong and they're coming in here to do some wrong in this neighborhood, I'm going to show them better than I could tell them. 
Yeah, girl, well, listen, I got some good news for you. Girl, don't you, you know, you remember that God Chanis, the places I was telling you about? <laughs> yeah, you remember her? Oh, man. This girl then got a whole television show. It's gonna be like Carol Burnett and Flip Wilson. Yeah. Yes, indeed. It's called the Trinice the Plessis Show. Now, how she got that? What you mean, how she got that? Don't you believe in the same God I believe in? Well, the girl didn't work eight years on a show, on somebody else's show. She was co-producer for Hope for the Day. I've been on there a few times. And she'd been working hard without even getting paid. So God blessed her with that. You want to know how you can get on there? Well, just like, boy, I tell you, you want to know how you can get on there? What you do special, Melba, but run your motor mouth, Melba, self? What you do special? You look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean you look pretty? Girl, you is crazy. You got to do more than that looking pretty. Huh? You got to come with, come, 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 come correct. You can't do no skills, no special skills. Well, I know you don't know how to cook because the other day for Thanksgiving, you cooked some bell peppers and the ground beef was uh, still loose. You ain't even put no shrimp or nothing. It just looked like a bunch of uh, dog meat. <laughs> what? You know you can't cook, Melba. And then... You tried to do gumbo one Thanksgiving, and then you got a nerve to put, who told you to put red wieners in your gumbo? You put hot dog, hot dog wieners in your gumbo. Who does that? Now, if you're going to do that, <laughs> if you're going to put wieners in your gumbo, at least put the good beef kind, the Nathan's wieners. <laughs> at least somebody know you spent a little money on it. Girl, look, you know me and you go way back. I can say anything I want to say, and I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you if you can't cook. Yeah, you can't cook, girl. Why you always eat? That's why you always eat my food. I done gave you the recipe after recipe. You can't cook worth the crap. <laughs> you can't cook stuffed bell pepper. You don't know how to fix it. It looks like loose dog meat. And your gumbo is tabas. Yeah, you ain't got no shrimp. You ain't got none of that up in there. Just some wieners and some damn chicken bones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Melville. Now, listen. Now, I do know one thing you could do. You can sew pretty good. Now, you done sold my chins, patched up their clothes really good. I'm not, that, I'm not that good in sewing, but I could get away with it. Now, you do have a gift in sewing. That's for sure. Yeah, you got a gift in sewing. <laughs> Yeah, you can make a you can make somebody ugly as I don't know what look beautiful. <laughs> yeah, look, yeah, yeah. So listen, let me get my foot in the door first, and I'll see about bringing you on. And maybe I could teach you how to. Uh, you could be. Uh, you could be the real. You could be yourself, Melba. That can't cook. <laughs> you could be yourself. And maybe we could do a skill with you cooking some gumbo with some wieners in it. <laughs> and then I could come up behind you and show everybody the right way. <laughs> girl, look. Oh, girl, I got to go. You know who that's calling me, huh? Sweet Willie. I got to go. Bye. Hello. Well, hello, sweet Willie. How you doing? Well, I'm in here. I was just talking to my friends, Melba's. And we were just chit-chatting about a few things. That's all. What I got on? <laughs> well, I got the usual on. Yeah. My, my robe and, you know, my dress under my robe. Nothing spectacular. I got a little makeup on today. Feeling kind of spry and spruce. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, what's on the menu today? Well, I wanted to fix something different, like some Cornish hens or something like that, and that's what I'm going to do. Cornish hens stuffed with some dressing, and I'm going to fix some peach cobbler, and I'm going to do some oyster dressing. Yeah, 
Yeah, just like it's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is like it every day in my house. You know that, sweet Willie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, oh, uh, well, the thing about it was, sweet Willie, oh, uh, I got my grandkids coming over, and uh, I'm going to call you when they're gone and when the coast is clear, and then you can go ahead and bring me some of that crown brown. <laughs> Because you know I don't like the wise because I'm racist. <laughs> yeah. So when I call you, we're going to have a little nightcap with some Cornish hens. <laughs> you want to look at Fred Sanford? Yeah, I'm going to put Fred Sanford. I got the collection. I got Good Times, Fred Sanford. Oh. Uh, a little bit of ever all the old shows from the old school. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on in, and then later on we can listen to uh, some of that Sam Cooke, and you know what else happens after that. <laughs> yeah, well, listen, I gotta get off the phone so I can finish up everything, so I can have time for you, sweet Willie. Yes. All right. Uh, you take care too. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> boy, I tell you, boy. Well, anyway, I got to go on in here and finish up and get on out of here, get ready to get in this kitchen and cook something. And I'm so excited that I'm going to be on Chanel's The Plessis Show. And I don't know when I'm going to be on there, but I know I better look real good. I don't think I want to come in this mama robe. I might want to put a nice church dress on so they can see the other side of me. They can see how I look outside my mama robe. <laughs> so listen, guys, I got to go. It's good talking to everybody. And uh, my sons, they should be on their way down to do something. So, peace. <laughs> oh, man, that Mama T is crazy. She's hilarious, God. That is one of my most favorite characters to play. Oh, my God. Well, I, I don't know where I get this stuff from, but um, God is good and, uh, and, and laughter is good for the soul. So, anyway, guys, if you want to see more of Mama T um, on her updates and everything that she's been doing, you can actually like her page on um Facebook, which is uh, uh, the Mama T page, you know, just simply put in Mama T there, you'll see me in my Momo robe, and you'll see some different videos, and you also go go to my YouTube page, um, it's TJ Dupless, you can actually uh, watch some of those videos on my YouTube page, so guys, if you're looking for some entertainment, and you want to get some popcorn one night, and you can go through my videos, and watch some of my past skits from Mama T, and other performances that I've done, you can definitely get on the YouTube page, um, and enjoy those skits as well. There's many, many ways that you can follow me and enjoy some of the things that I do with my arts. And also, um, I'm going to be doing a new website where you can actually go online and see some other footage and uh, maybe purchase some things online as well. But um, some exciting projects that I have coming up for you guys. Well, we have an Entertainment of the Arts show coming uh, November the 3rd, November the 3rd at Cafe Istanbul at um, 8 o'clock. What I've done is uh, me, uh, Tita Plessis Entertainment and Till Max Corner, which is a good friend of mine, Thayer Terman, he has a radio show, um, the Till Max Corner on Crescent City Radio. We've come together to put an awesome show together for the arts, um, meaning we have uh, a band, live band, we have singing, we have poetry. I'm going to be doing a performance, a couple of performances. It may be a Mama T skit, it may be a Paco skit or whatever. We're putting all the arts together on this particular night and we're going to feature one of my favorite artists that I've known since 2012. Uh, his name is Profess. Profess. And the music that you heard on the show before the show and the music that you're going to hear after the show ends is by Profess. He put the music together. I give him the music credit. He's an original artist person. Um, he's going to be singing, doing some uh, performances with his band, November 3rd at Cafe Instable at 8 o'clock. And you can go on Facebook and just type in Entertainment of the Arts. 
And if you just put it in Google, it'll come up. So we have that show coming November 3rd at Cafe Insta, one of my favorite places to perform and to put on shows. It's an intimate space. If you have never been there, take a peep in there. Just, it's, it's an awesome place to put on beautiful, intimate shows. And then we have some exciting news. Of course, you know, a lot of you have seen Sweet Willis Cotton Club. Sweet Willis Cotton Club is a musical that um, we've been doing since March. Um, this is going to be our eighth show that we're going to be doing December 16th in Slidell at the Cutting Edge Theater for 8 o'clock. The Sweet Willis Cotton Club, are you ready for this? The Sweet Willis Cotton Club Christmas Edition. Yay! <laughs> so guess what, guys? You get the chance to get in the Christmas spirit and hear some of these artists, such as um, all of these um, artists that's going to be singing, uh, Nat King Cole, uh, um, Sam Cooke, Ella Fitzgerald, Lena Horn, Etta James. Now we added uh, Eartha Kitt. So guess what, guys? This is going to be an amazing show. Uh, we just added some Christmas songs, and Robert Payton and the Rastals is going to be doing the music again. I'm so proud of this show. Make sure you support it and go on Facebook and like the page Sweet Willie's Cotton Club, guys. And also, this is just something that we continue to do. God is keep blessing us with these productions. Support all of my productions. Follow me wherever you can. I'm all over the Internet. You, it's, I'm not hard to find and I'm not hard to view. And again, November 12th taping for this show, the Trinista Pleasant Show. We are looking for new faces to come on the show and show their performances. Email Trinice Duplessis, the Trinice Duplessis show at gmail.com. You can send your headshots and your resumes there and your contact information, and we'll call you back if we're interested. You can send video performances of you acting and singing and doing comedy. Send it to the Trinice Duplessis show at gmail.com. Com at gmail.com, guys. Again, thank y'all for joining me. Uh, the Trinity Suppressor Show is going to air every Sunday at 11.30 a.m. and 11 p.m. on Cox 76. God bless, guys. I'm so excited. Thank you for so your support. This show is just going to get better and better. And it's a kid-friendly show, so make sure you have your kids watch the show. And if you have youth that want to come on the show, they are welcome as well. Bye-bye.